is Mr. Beck doing your homework. Mr. Beck does your homework. This is homework number three, question number four. Question number four states, a baseball goes from zero to 35 meters per second in 0 0.152 seconds. What is its average acceleration? So we have a baseball. Initially, it's going at zero meters per second. Sometime later on, that same baseball is going 35 meters per second. And the amount of time that passes is 0.152 seconds. 0 0.152 seconds. So I need to identify what each one of these uh, variables is. So 0 meters per second, I'm going from 0. Well, that's my velocity at the start. So I'm going to write V0 equals 0 meters per second. to 35 meters per second. So now it's going 35 meters per second at some later time. So my new velocity is going to be 35 meters per second in 0 0.152 seconds. That's my time. Time equals 0 0.152 seconds. What is its average acceleration? Well, my average acceleration is defined as my change in velocity, delta V, divided by my time, t. But my change in velocity is always going to be my final velocity minus my initial velocity. And that's divided by time. My final velocity in this case, my v, is 35 meters per second. My initial velocity was 0 meters per second. Might be 0. I'm going to divide that all by point one five two seconds, zero point one five two seconds. My units, meters per second, minus meters per second, well that's going to be meters per second on the top. And then I'm again dividing by seconds, so that's going to give me my units of, me, my acceleration units, meters per second squared, or meters per second per second. My, my answer is going to be 35 minus 0. Well, that's a positive number. That makes sense because this is a positive acceleration. It's going from 0 up to 35, so it's going quicker and quicker. That's going to be a positive acceleration. 35 minus 0 divided by 0.152, that will give me a number. That is the answer to my question. So in this case, a positive acceleration going from 0 to 35 meters per second.